So just to inaugurate the uh, the channel, I thought I'd go ahead and do a like just like a little video to show you what I've been doing uh, this July, or you know tell you about it anyway. Uh, the most important one is that uh, you know for everybody who knows me knows I always talk about my wife, but now it's a real thing. We just got married. We got married on Monday. We're Mr. and Mrs. Jeff and Leslie Ball. It's a real thing. <laughs> uh, more on that in a second. We're going to have wedding videos and, like, you know, pictures and stuff. So those are going to be kind of cool to check out. I can't wait to see them either. Uh, the other thing that I'm going to do right now, the other thing that's big about July, for anybody who likes movies, of course, is Barnes & Noble's uh, annual Criterion sale. And, uh, you know, most of the time I buy my Criterions used from secondhand places because, you know, I'm a guy on a budget, just like everybody else out there, I would hope. But, um, this year I actually had a little bit of extra money, so I figured I'd go ahead and get some stuff, and I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got, briefly. So, you know, here's that. Uh. So the first thing that I got, I want to tell you about, is I got, um... DVD copy because they didn't really have a, a Blu-ray copy of it, and also I didn't think it was aided by being on uh, Blu-ray anyway. It was uh, David Lynch's Eraserhead new printing. Uh, I'm really, really happy about this. Uh, I'm not actually that big a fan of David Lynch's stuff, most of his films, but Eraserhead has always had a big impact on me for its, you know, its atmosphere, uh, its mood, its tension. Uh, ironically enough, like whenever I write about it, it's like one of the things that I'm always thinking about. I don't know why. Uh, so I wanted to get that, I, you know, also because it has his uh, earlier short films like, you know, uh, what are they called? Six Men Getting Sick, The Alphabet, and The Grandmother, which I've always wanted to see. Um, the second thing I got was uh, the uh, dual-format Blu-ray DVD copy of uh, Picnic at Hang Rock, which is uh, Peter Weir's, one of his earlier films. Uh, this is one of the more influential films in the Australian New Wave. It's really, really good. This is one of the most ominous and... Uh, I guess uneasy films you'll ever watch. You know, you really, really get the feeling that there's some, like, there's something there that you're not being told. There's some kind of terrible truth that doesn't really make a lot of sense. You know, and it's just, it's just a great movie. Uh, the video is about to end because of my camera, so part two in just a second. Okay, so we're back uh, briefly. So the third, fourth, and fifth things that I got, uh, I'm really excited about. Uh, Criterion's release of uh, Paths of Glory, Stanley Kubrick's Paths of Glory. Uh, really great film, one of my favorites. I always love Stanley Kubrick's war films. Uh, you know, this um, Full Metal Jacket, and I guess you could even say uh, Barry Lyndon is sort of a war film in a way, and even uh, Clockwork Orange has elements of it, but this is his purest right here. Uh, Fear and Desire I haven't seen, I really want to see it. Uh, but it's kind of hard to find, so I've been really excited to check this out. I can't wait. And in keeping with that, I also picked up one of their newest releases, which is Dr. Strangelove, or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb. Uh, this I've been excited for for months, since they first announced it, and I can't wait to check it out, because everybody says it's one of their most beautiful remasters. It's got, you know, it's got buku extras, some of which uh, you may have found on some of the previous DVD copies of the film. Uh, but still others are just amazing archival stuff. Uh, it's been called uh, by Blu-ray.com like one of, one of the best Blu-rays of the year. Can't wait to dig into it. The third is uh, Akura Kurosawa's Yojimbo. I'm slowly, slowly trying to build up my Akura Kurosawa library. Um, so far, this is the only one of his Criterion releases that I have on DVD, or, sorry, on Blu-ray. Uh, the rest of them that I do have are actually on DVD. Um, including the Seven Samurai release, which is just a massive, amazing thing. It's huge. Um, the Blu-ray release is basically the same thing, except with a higher image quality. Uh, I've considered upgrading these for a while, but I uh, just haven't gotten around to it. Um, I also have I also have Studio Canal's uh, release of Ran, which I haven't. You know, I've, I've heard from people that it's you know not necessarily representative of the, you know, the original color timing of the film. Um, I don't know necessarily enough about the, the, like, you know, the original release and look of Rand to be able to contest that, but I know this one looks pretty okay to me, so, you know. Um, 
So that's what I've gotten so far. Uh, what I plan to get, what I'm really excited about getting at the end of July, because now it's time to save money, because, you know, we just got married, and, you know, so I want to be taking our honeymoon uh, for the last week. Um... I'm going to be getting the New World. They're going to release Terra and Smalax the New World, and I'm really, really excited about that. Um, just to complete the Terra and Smalax triad that they have going on. Uh, at some point, I really hope they get to Tree of Life. But we'll see if that ever happens. I'm also hoping they get some George Miller going on. I would love, love, love to get um, Lorenzo's Oil in the collection, but that's kind of a far ways off, I think. Uh, now, I have also heard later this year they're gonna dabble in releasing uh, Wim Winters Until the End of the World. He's like three-part, four-hour miniseries film. I'll pick that up the first day it comes out. I'm so excited about that. I hope they get to do that because it hasn't had an American release, and that's one of my favorite movies. Um, the other thing that I'm gonna get later this year, uh, when it comes out, hopefully, uh, I want to pick up the Decalogue. Uh, I also want to pick up, um, they're gonna release Pan's Labyrinth, and also a new box set full of Guillermo de Toro's uh, Spanish youth films, like Kronos, uh, Devil's Backbone, and Pan's Labyrinth, and I'm thinking about picking that up. That looks great. Uh, and I think that's really all that I have planned right now to pick up. Uh, possibly Boyhood. I didn't really, um, I didn't watch Boyhood, and I always had an excuse. I thought it was a film people were attracted to primarily because of the execution of it, and that by itself is interesting, but... The concept of it always kind of seemed kind of navel-gazy, kind of self-referential. Well, not self-referential, but kind of uh, self-reflexive in a way that I'm not the biggest fan of. So I kind of avoided it. But um, then again, I haven't seen it, so my opinion isn't really all that valid, I don't think. And I'm totally ready to like call it a masterpiece, so I can't wait to check that out when I get it. Anyway, so this is the video, and this is the channel. Uh, thank you for watching. If you watched it, if you didn't, well, I'll, I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.